So, good day everyone. I am Jericho B. Perez, one of the students from BSBA 2A. Welcome to the presentation prepared by group number 6. Through this video, we as a group are here to expound the history, legacy, and root definition of the internet platforms. So let us begin with the objectives of this research. So this research is aiming to identify, analyze, and recognize the importance of internet platforms from their evolution and history up to the 21st century. It will play a vital role in the readers for them to be able to clearly understand and to be knowledgeable about their educational settings, research purposes, business fields, and economic status. The second one is to differentiate the various types of internet platforms for easy connection to the network depending on the availability of the type of connection. Um, the third one is to identify identify the sort of advantages, disadvantages of different internet platforms. And lastly, is to determine the purpose of the different types of network devices bridging communication by interacting through local and global competitiveness. So let us begin with the definition on internet platforms. So what do we mean by that? So, online platforms or internet platforms are as diverse as under underlying business concepts and include online marketplaces, search engines, social networks, content sharing platforms, app stores, communication services, and online travel and accommodation platforms, among others. On the internet, online platforms serve as an instrument for spreading reliable information and communications flows globally. And the other one is, they are also critical enablers of digital trade across the world. And lastly, the definition of internet platforms is, they use to increase customer choice and regards to convenience, improve industry efficiency and competitiveness, and even um, boost citizen involvement. Hey everyone, I am Rodrovic Escasinas and I here to discuss the history of internet. So in 1969, ARPANET was the first real network to run on packet switching technology. They were also the first host on what would one day become the internet. In 1970, an ARPANET network was established between Harvard, MIT, and BBN. BBN is the company that created the interface message processors. In 1971, email was first developed by Ray Tomlinson. He decided to use a symbol at to separate the username from the computer name. In 1972, France began its own ARPANET-like network project called Cyclades, but eventually it is shut down. In 1973, ARPANET made its first transatlantic connection. In 1974, a proposal was established to link ARPA-like network together into a so-called internetwork. In 1975, the first modern email program was developed by John Vital. The biggest technological advance of this program was the addition of reply and forward functionality. In 1977, it is a big year for the development of the internet as we know it today. In 1978, it is the year that brought the first unsolic unsolicited commercial email messages. In 1979, MUD or multi-user dungeon was developed an entirely text-based virtual worlds combining elements of role-playing games. In 1980, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, better known as CERN, launched Inquire, a hypertext program that allowed scientists at the particle physics lab to keep track of people. In 1982, the first emoticon was introduced. In 1983, it was the deadline for ARPANET computers to switch over the TCP or IP protocols developed by Vinton Surf A. How much energy does the internet use? 
The Chinese telecom firm Huawei estimates that the information and communication technology or ICT industry could use 20% of the world's electricity and release more than 5% of the world's carbon emissions by 2025. The study's author Anders Andre said the coming tsunami of data was to blame. In the end 2016, the U.S. government's Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory estimated that American data centers facilitates where computer store process and share information might need 73 BN kilowatts per hour of energy in 2020. That's the output of the 10 Hinkley Point B nuclear power stations. According to Glantz, sources that data center use around 30 gigawatts of electricity. He also states that the data centers can waste most of the end of that energy up to 90% of it. With that massive amount of power going to waste, is the internet doing more harm than it's worth? According to Raghavan and Maria, they point out in their report that the internet's energy consumption is a fraction of that of the transportation industry, which accounts for 61% of all oil production. The two researchers, researchers suggest that because of the internet uses less power and costs a smaller amount environmental impact than the transportation, moving more tasks to the internet makes sense. Using teleconferencing rather than travel for meeting could save quite a bit of energy. The real picture that emerged when you look at how much energy the internet uses is that it's a complex issue. Without the internet, we will have to rely on other methods to communicate and access data. Those methods might turn in require more energy and cause more pollution than the internet does. If that's the case, decreasing our reliance on these activities and focusing more on the internet makes sense from an energy perspective. Good day everyone, so my name is Shella Anuris Pilatayan from BSPA2A. So it's me again and today I'm going to discuss about the IoT or the Internet of Things that related into the Internet platforms. So we all know that we are here in the new generations with technological advances like networks, internet gadgets such as laptops, uh, smartphones, but mostly people use is that internet. So all the things has internet or needed to access an internet while you you are trying to use social media or other applications in your phone. So what is IoT or the Internet of Things? So Internet of Things it refers to the collective network of connected devices and the technology that facilitates communications between devices and the cloud so the question is how is it work the internet of things is divided into three components so the first is the smart devices so the, the one good example here is that our cameras televisions maybe some radio and other telecommunication platforms so the second is the internet of things applications so which is this application is a collection of services and software that integrates data receives from various internet of things devices and lastly the third one is a graphical user interface which um internet of Internet of Things or IoT devices can be managed through a graphical user interface. Um, the example here is that a mobile applications or websites that can be used to register and control smart devices. online platforms for ICT content development. There are two types of platforms, social media platforms and blogger platforms. Social media platforms website like Facebook allow you to create not only account but also pages and groups where you can share content. Blogger <coughs> platform. Blogger platform websites like WordPress, Tumblr, and Blogger focus on document and design. It typically looks like a news writer 
and blogger focus on content and design. Content development, generate ideas, refine ideas, structure the content. Impact of online platforms for content development. Information and communication technology has changed rapidly over the previous 20 years with the key investment. For importance of online platforms for content development. One, teaching. Using an online platform can provide the opportunity to educate others interested in certain field expertise. Two, making a difference. Whether it's a political, environmental, or social cause, an online platform is a great way to build awareness and garner support. Three, express yourself. Whether your passion is business, personal, finance, cooking, politics, photography, or marketing, an online platform gives you opportunity. Four, improves your skill in your field expertise. The more you use your skills, the better you become at it. Most content developers use their skills on a regular basis and therefore, purpose of online development. This allows to create not only our personal accounts but also groups and pages. Brings people and or business together. Online platforms serves as the key engine for business growth and development. I'm Stephanie Meditoling and I will report network, network devices. Network devices, it is also known as networking hardware, are physical devices that allow hardware in, on computer network to communicate and interact with one another. This is the example of network devices, repeater, hub, bridge, switch routers, gateway, B router, and NIT. Repeater it operates at the physical layer. Its job is to regenerate the signal over the same network before the signal becomes too weak or corrupted to extend the length to which the signal can be transmitted over the same network. Hub connects multiple wires coming from different branches. For example, the connector in start topology, which connects different stations. Hub cannot filter data, so data packets are sent to all connected devices. Three types of hub. Active hub, passive hub, intelligent hub. Active hub, it serves both as repeater as well as wiring center. Passive hub, it collects wiring from nodes and power supply from the active hub. Intelligent hub, it works like an active hub and it includes remote management capabilities. Bridge, it is also used interconnecting two lines working the same protocol. There are two types of bridge, transparent bridge, Source routing bridge. Transparent bridge, this bridge make use to process bridge forwarding and bridge learning. Source routing bridge, the host can discover the frame by sending a special frame called the discovery frame, which spreads through the entire network using all possible paths to the destination. Switch. A switch is a data link layer device. Router. The router is mainly a network layer device. Gateway. They work as messenger agents that take data from one system, interpret it, and transfer it to another system. It is also called as protocol converter. B router. It can work either at the data link layer or network layer. And IC. It is called. It is installed in the computer to establish an a LAN. Proceed to advantages. The pandemic's global nature has accelerated digitalization at an unusual rate, with the use of online platforms playing an indis indispensable role in assisting citizens in transitioning to the new reality of living. In the pandemic, and enabling them to navigate their daily lives with as much normally as possible despite recurring lockdowns. Advantages of internet addiction is harmful to both one's physical and mental health, for example, a cyber crime. A hacker creates a virus that infects a computer and destroys vital data. When using the web frequently, they can access users' personal information such as name, address, MasterCard, MasterCard bank data, and other information resulting in secret economic damage. The second one is social media. The time spent on 
night passes smoothly without awareness. After being enticed, the, the user is drawn into trap. Users are drawn into the trap by not spending less time with people in the real world. Less engagement and face-to-face -face communication may result in decline in social compet compet competencies. For the market value, the internet platform economy is economic form based on the internet technology, big data, cloud computing, and other new generations of information technology. The platform is the most important feature of the economic industry of the internet era. And here are the five largest internet companies in the world. The first one is the Amazon with a revenue of $107. The next one is the Google with a revenue of $74.98. The third one is the Facebook with a revenue of $17.93. The fourth one is the Tencent with a revenue of $15.84. And the fifth one and the fifth largest internet company is the Alibaba with a revenue of $12.29. The internet is changing the way we live, work, produce, and consume with such extensive reach. Digital technologies cannot help but disrupt many of the existing models of business and government. As we enter the fourth industrial revolution, a technological transformation driven by the internet, the challenge is to manage the seismic change in a way that promotes the long-term health and stability of the internet. It is said that the volumes of data are growing at a rate of 40% per year and will increase 50 times by 2020 and over half or 51% of all internet users worldwide, worldwide are in Asia. China has 1.3 mobile subscriptions out of population of 1.36 billion while the India has 0.91 billion mobile subscribers out of 1.25 billion populations.